Brave Hearts is the largest equine assistance services program for veterans in the country. Joining us now with more on the work they do and how we can help is Veteran Relations Coordinator and U.S. Army Vietnam Veteran Bill Mercurio. Bill, thank you so much for being here. And first of all, thank My you for pleasure. your service. Thank you were you so drafted much. in 1966. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and how did you get started with this incredible organization? Well, um, I went to a... Uh, Colin Powell event in uh, 2016 that was open to veterans in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, we had the opportunity to come across a booth that was from Braveheart. Uh, my wife uh, was a, had previously had her own horse, and uh, they told her that if you know if I came out and rode, she could uh, ride also because the veterans' families are also allowed to ride. Everything we do for veterans, by the way, is free. Okay. You know, so there's no charge. And at that point in time, I came out to Bravehearts and discovered what horses can really do. They're they're an amazing animal. I mean, very I, intuitive, wouldn't very you say? Very much so. Absolutely. You know, I'm a Chicago boy. You know, I'd never. You know, I rode the L. You know, I never rode. <laughs> you never rode horse. And so, horse power, but not yeah, horse right. actually. <laughs> so I. But it was amazing to me to find out how uh, how giving the horses are and how much you get in return, you know, when you talk to them. The, um, the horses are empathetic. Mm -hmm. So we find that veterans who have issues, um, PTSD, TBIs, tra uh, tra uh, traumatic bra brain, brain, injuries. brain injuries, thank yeah. you, mm -hmm. um, and various and other sundry diagnoses, uh, come out and they are forced to be in the moment mm -hmm. because that's how horses live. Mm -hmm. So you can't worry about what happened yesterday. You can't worry about what's going to go on tomorrow. You're there with the horse. And we find that we ask them to relax, to take a moment. And as they calm down and they become much more relaxed, the horse in itself relaxes. Um, if, my, if my heart rate is raised, when I come to the horse, the horse will raise his heart rate in conjunction. So if it may go up five or 10, beats because that's how they they're God made them and they're mm -hmm. they attach like that mm -hmm. so they're very effective when it comes to getting veterans relaxed and in the moment mm -hmm. which is part and parcel of why it works so well we find that um, that when veterans come in they um, we get them to groom the horse, and once they've groomed the horse, that attachment becomes kind of uh, important to them. And then when we get them on the horse, mm -hmm. the, uh, the ride begins, and you'll see after, uh, you were mentioning, as a matter of fact, you know, about your, your my, was, uncle. my uncle, and um, they are somewhat closed off, you know, uh, they're you know, reluctant to let their emotions go. And after uh, uh, half an hour on a horse, 45 minutes, mm -hmm. you see a little smile, <laughs> smile start to start, you know, yeah. and we kind of know that, that we have connected at that point in time. So, How can, um, obviously horses are a very expensive animal to take care of. How can people who want to support your efforts do so? Well, we have a website, which is called braveheartsriding.org. Mm -hmm. And on that website, there are uh, a number of clicks and uh, one of them is um, how to donate a horse or mm -hmm. you know um, how to be involved in um, donating donating or um, if we um, money for we care have, veteran, you know it's, for it's you know it's a 24 7 process mm -hmm. we have 48 horses and two barns and that is, you know, a large expense. So, you know, we're always looking for people who are attuned to what we do. You know, we, um, we like to think that, you know, we touch base with people and change their lives. You know, certainly veterans have changed well, my life. Before we let you go, we have to congratulate you on your 2022, um, it was the Trail to Zero multi-city tour, yes, and you're also going to be in People Magazine, you said? Uh, this this <laughs> this issue, we are, um, uh, there's a three-page spread about our organization, yeah. and we were blessed to have that uh, that opportunity. There's a, It's also on people.com. Um, and if you were um, uh, of a mind, you know, they we're always looking for volunteers. Yeah. So, you know, if people have some type of background with horses, we would love to have them come out and, you know, and see us in Harvard, Illinois. 
and uh, enjoy what they do. All right, Phil, yeah. congratulations. Thank Thanks, you again, sir. and thank you for pleasure. your service, sir.